Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. New rules from the National Association of Realtors effective this week could transform U.S. real estate practices. As part of a $418 million antitrust settlement, the rules aim to provide more transparency and choice in home buying and selling. Two major changes are seller's agents can no longer advertise commission fees to buyer's agents on MLS platforms, reducing the practice of steering, and buyers must now sign a representation agreement with their agent before touring homes. These shifts might lead to more competitive commission rates and could affect home affordability, though experts believe mortgage rates will have a more immediate impact. Some brokerages are simplifying contracts to ease buyer concerns. In other developments, the FDA has granted marketing authorization to NOW Diagnostics for the first to know syphilis test, the first at-home, over-the-counter antibody test for the infection. This test, which provides results in about 15 minutes, allows individuals to screen themselves for syphilis using a drop of blood. While the test offers convenience for those reluctant to visit a doctor, a positive result still requires confirmation by a healthcare provider. The test correctly identified 99.5% of negative and 93.4% of positive specimens in a clinical study. The test will be available at major retailers in fall 2024 for $29.98. Syphilis rates have surged in the U.S. with a nearly 80% increase in cases since 2018. In another update, Two Alaska State Troopers, Sergeant Joseph Miller and K-9 Handler Jason Woodruff, have been charged with misdemeanor assault for using excessive force during an arrest on May 24th. Mistakenly targeting a man with the same last name as the actual suspect, the troopers pepper-sprayed, tased, and used a police dog to attack him, causing significant injuries. The man, who needed surgery, was later found to be innocent, and charges against him were dropped. The incident led to the troopers being placed on administrative leave. An arraignment is scheduled for September 10th. In other news, Nico De La Rocha, a young boy starting his first day of kindergarten, received a heartwarming escort from Sunnyvale and Dallas police officers, including DPD's Mountain Patrol. Nico's father, Dallas Police Senior CPL, Jose De La Rocha, tragically passed away last August from a fatal heart attack while playing with his son. To honor his memory and support Nico, the officers, led by Chief Eddie Garcia, walked Nico to class, offering emotional support to both Nico and his mother. Chief Garcia, who was deeply moved, expressed his hope that Nico always feels the police are his extended family. The officers remembered CPL De La Rocha as a loving father whose spirit lives on in his son. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!